This is Doug Varnberg and welcome back to another edition of Auto Chart Live. Um, I've been asked some several questions this week. Uh, one of them is, will it work with any mapping? Yes, Auto Chart Live is an overlay. You don't even have to have mapping in. We're going to start here. Um, here's Auto Chart Live. We're going to hit rec hit record and let's get started. We're out here on a hump. Somebody wanted to see a hump. We're going to show you a hump and what Auto Chart Live can do to creating a hump. Now, a couple things. The lines are going to be drawn per perpendicular with the boat, as you can see here. So, when you go over structure, you're going to get more detail going up and over or down and, you know, up and over a point. It's how you're going to want to create those, start trying to create those lines. It'll help you uh, build your map easier, more detail, if you understand that. Now one thing, our minimum to maximum, that is our color, color bar. Basically red's going to be shallow water, blue's going to be our deepest water, but we can control that color. What I'm going to look for here is, I know this hump's out here, but I want to learn all the details about it. So I'm going to just try to get the top of that hump. Uh, I'm not going to get real in-depth. I'm on one-foot contour, so the more passes, I'm going to have to make a lot more passes to get a lot more detail. Uh, you can do three foot. We'll just show you here with Auto Chart Live. You can record. You've got map options. You can set the contour range. You can set the maximum range. So what I'm looking at here is this is going to affect my color bar down here. This is going to be my maximum depth. This lake is 70 foot is pretty much maximum depth of it. Uh, that's going to be my lower range. Contour intervals, you can change that contour to whatever you need. If you on a steeper, deeper lake, increase the contours. You don't need one foot contours if you got real sudden drop offs. Uh, if you're trying to do flatter areas, the one foot contour is going to be uh, a lot better, and you're going to have to spend a little more time and create a little better details but you can see now we've really started building that map a lot more detail in it we've only made two passes over the structure and look at it now if you don't have any mapping we can pop out the map card right now Let's just put the old map card back in. We're going to learn a lot about auto chart today. Some map companies may not want you to have an auto chart live. Might show their imperfections. Oh, look at that little point that's coming out there. We better follow that a little bit. That's one of the great things with Auto Chart Live. There's a little point that kind of showed up here. Look at how much more detail. We ain't even done our cross cross tracks yet. That's really going to help fill it in. Look at that little point right there. Whoop. That yellow area is what's the most important to me. It is what I'm looking for today to do some fishing on. It's why I want to get this uh, 
So I'm gonna make one more pass out there. I think that tip is getting close. You can see we're kind of getting our data compiled out there off that point. But look at the difference where the point is and actually where the map showed it was supposed to be. Hmm. Sonar data doesn't lie. Wow, look at the difference in the map. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my cross tracks. This is kind of a pattern that I've learned. Is I just want to make sure that you know, all my lines I can get the best detail. So I'm going to run straight lines and then we're going to crisscross. And this is kind of my favorite little pattern that I've learned with uh, auto chart and you'll see it refresh some of these little points and stuff I'm seeing that little point and I want to learn a lot more about that so I'm gonna spend a little more time in that area it's one of them little key little spots at the spot on the spot that uh, may hold some fish you know finding little ledges finding little points that's the cool thing with auto chart is I can spend a lot more time trying to map those little fine areas that uh, are going to be fish holding areas. As great as mapping companies are, they cannot spend, they can't go around this slow and, and really just fine tune their map. Oh, we learned a little bit more because you've seen our data change. Look how that data just gets tweaked a little bit every time we make another pass here. It's learning what's the bottom. And that's the cool thing of AutoChart is learning the bottom exactly what you need mapping is great is a, probably one of the greatest tools uh, for fishermen because we can we can have a total visualization without the water there Look at the little tweaks. That's the key to auto charge and why you should make passes from different angles because you're going to fine tune that structure with every little bit of detail. If we're going to make this sucker really good. I'm going to be speeding up this video in and out to compress it because uh, we're going to be running into a YouTube time allotment. Now, it'll work with uh, any orientation. I'm gonna put head, whoop, heads up now. This is gonna show the direction the boat's traveling because this may help. Now what I wanna do is I wanna do some angled lines to fine tune areas that are really intriguing me. I like the looks of these little points and stuff here. So I wanna do some diagonals across that top of that up about like that come over here get lined up you can use your heading line there to see where you're going but you see now we're gonna go across you know a different direction and you'll see that it tweaks it just a little bit and that's the thing you want to do depending on how much detail you need just tweak it Okay, we've tweaked that point just a tad, and that's a little more data, a little more details for us to 
learn how to catch fish off this plot. Help us find those magic little spaces. What I want to do is I'm going to try to come right through there because you see my boxes. Got some openings in there. May help get us a little more data. Oh, we changed quite a bit of stuff right there. That was a good pass. Anytime you can tweak the data a little more. People think I'm crazy doing out here, but they just don't know about Auto Chart Live yet and what it can do for them. Auto Chart Live, we're going to stop our record. And I'm going to turn the data off. There's basically our track lines. That was our map before. That is our map now. Now one thing you can do if you don't want to see all them track lines, come down to overlays, nav data. And you can turn your active track off. There's our active track off, so now we can see that data a lot easier. You could clear your current track and it would do the same thing. But now you can look at that hump. Look at how much more detail is that. We'll turn it off. Or we're going to try to get our... There's our data. And with Lake Master, we need to adjust our mapping. There's our auto chart data over our Lake Master. But now let's see how close it was. We can do two things. We could do we, the quickest way to just turn it off. Look at that data there versus there. Now, if you want to see your data, you want to see the other mapping data behind it. Just reduce that down to 50% and you can start you can start seeing the old data behind that what you've created. They were really close on that. Really really close. You can see the black lines. See right where our hump was. I hope that helped you learn a little bit more about Auto Chart Live.